So I just want to welcome Kevin Henderson, a uh, great Shetland fiddle player, teacher, performer. Uh, he's been with the Fiddler's Bid, Session A9, Nordic Fiddler's Block, and also played with Boys of the Loch. And uh, we're really looking forward to hearing you play. Kevin, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm going to play mostly traditional Shetland stuff. I think I've not got a, I've not got a very concrete plan. I'm going to play it by ear a bit. <laughs> I might start off with two tunes I got from the John Stickle collection, and he was a great fiddle player from the island of Unst. Came from a long line of fiddle players, and I came across this two tunes, and I instantly fell in love with him. So the first one is called Be Not the Vex of Vaux and that's like North of the Walls of Vaux. And then a tune called Deltingside. So both of them is from John Stickle. So here we go. in John Stickle mood and play, actually play a slow air, an unnamed air that I again got from the John Stickle collection. It's a really beautiful tune, so I'll play that. Thank you. 
So that's an unnamed ear from the island of Unst. And I'll maybe I'll have a look at my list here. And maybe actually I'll play I'll play an unusual tune. And this tune was said to have been used for the women spinning wool. So it's got an unusual rhythm. And uh, it's called Dun de Ruth. And Ruth is part of the spinning wheel. Where the wool goes through in the spinning. And the fiddle player used to play this while all the women was spinning yarn. So this is Dun de Ruth. And then I'll maybe play a tune from the island of Papa Stuart, which lies on the west side of Shetland. They've got some great fiddle tunes from there. And this is called the Papa Stuart Sword Dance. And it was a sword dance that was done in the winter period around the Christmas time. Uh, they used to do this on the dance floor. Uh, and that's about all I can tell you about it. So I'll just play you this couple of tunes. <laughs> tune since I'm in Norway and this is a brilliant waltz a little bit unusual but I learned this from a really good friend and one of Norway's top folk musicians called Onan Egeland and he lives quite close to me so I visit him quite regularly and uh, I learned this from one of his albums I can't remember the title of the album but the tune is called Harveland's Valsen that's a, a great tune I only played that
Well, here's Harvelands from Norway, from the plane of Onan Egeland. Fantastic musician, you should check him out if you don't know about him already. He also has a duo with Mikkel Marin from Vesen. They've done a couple of great recordings. Yeah. I mean, I'll try. What will I try now? I'll try to check my list. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick. Yeah, I'm going to do this tune from, I mentioned Papa Stewart earlier. And like I said, there's some great tunes and players from Papa Stewart. And this is a tune called Sandy Over the Lee. And um, <clears throat> I'll follow that with a reel called The Cross Reel, which is one of my favourite old Shetland reels. And it's a little bit unusual. Um, it reminds me of some of the Quebec tune structure. Um, there was a dance that was done to it at one point, but unfortunately the dance steps were were lost. Um, but we still had a tune. So here's Sandy Orderly and the cross reel. tunes from Shetland. Um, what will I try now? Maybe I'll try another two of my favourite trad tunes from Shetland. And the first is a tune called The Bixter Rant and then I'll play a tune called Stout's Trip to Skea and then I'll maybe add on the tune I did in the workshop earlier called Mini Pat Me Tidda Well. 
And I learned this, I was saying in the workshop, one of the benefits of having this pandemic is I've had time to trawl through some archive recordings and I found this tune and I instantly thought that's a brilliant tune. So I got it from the plain of John Irvin from the island of Walja. So the Bix the Rant, Stouts, Trip to Scare and Mini Pat Me to the Well. If I can remember, <laughs> well, this could go one of two ways. <laughs> forgot <laughs> how to go into mini. <laughs> I'll maybe actually, I'll play one of my own tunes maybe. And this is a tune called Bonfrost and it's the title track of um, the new Nordic Fiddler's Block album and I also recorded it with Mr. Neil Perlman and uh, Bonfrost is a Shetland term used when there's been a really hard frost and I've always liked how the landscape looks in Shetland when there's been a really hard frost so this is Bonfrost. <laughs>
So that's one frost. Um, I wonder what I should play now. I'll maybe play. Yeah, I'll maybe play a set of Shetland jigs. We don't have many jigs in the Shetland fiddle tradition. So I'll basically play all of them in the same set. <laughs> we have three that's very popular. Now, I would say probably five in the tradition, but this three has always been the, the main jig repertoire for Shetland fiddle players. And um, the first is a tune called The Fields of Fula. And then there's a trowy tune from the island of Fettler. And the trows is the little people that live under the ground in Shetland, if you don't know about them. Close relative of the Norwegian troll. And then I'll play... Yeah, that's called Gaster's Dream, I should say. And it was heard by a man, a man coming home late one night from a wedding. And he heard this music coming out of the ground. And he peeked in. It was a beautiful moonlit night shone in through the rock face and he saw that it was a trowy party that was going on and he got a bit scared and he ran away home he took out his pocket knife because cold steel was a deterrent for for the trows but he ran away home and his daughter was a fiddle player and he remembered the tune and he diddled the tune to his daughter and then the tune became part of the Shetland fiddle repertoire and then a tune from Freedom and Stickle. I mentioned John Stickle earlier. This is, that would be his great-grandfather, I believe. Um, and he was a fantastic fiddle player. And his father, in fact, was also a great fiddle player who came from Germany but spent most of his life in Shetland. He came at the end of the 1700s, I believe. And the story goes that he worked on a German sailing ship and he played the fiddle every day and his shipmates got sick of it so they threw him and the fiddle overboard and he managed to get ashore on Unst and he spent the rest of his days there. Which was a good thing because he was a great fiddle player and his son became one of the top fiddle players in Shetland at the time. There's a, a record of him saying he's the best fiddle player in Shetland at the time in the first position which is quite interesting. <laughs> so that's a tune attributed to him called The Brig.
three traditional jigs from Shetland. Um, I'll maybe, just not send the time there, I'll maybe finish up with a couple of my own tunes. And the first is a tune I composed for my oldest son, Lucas, after he was born. And it's called Tune for Lucas. Not a very inventive title, but there we go. <laughs> and then I'll play a tune called Talon's Trip to Thompson Island. And I wrote this after I was invited over to teach the Boston Harbour Fiddle School. And the auction, they had all the teachers had to donate something to this auction to raise money for the following year's event. And we all decided we would compose tunes and people could buy the naming rights. So this great woman called Teresa Allen bought the naming rights to this tune. It's called Talon's Trip to Thompson Island. So thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll finish up with these two tunes and a uh, big thanks to Aid for having me here. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin.